What's up guys, we got a video on finishing ankle locks. We're gonna reverse engineer the defenses. Defense number one, you're gonna flex your toes towards your face. Defense number two, you're gonna lock your knee out, flexing your large quads. Okay, we want that knee locked out, straight leg. Number three, I wanna lift my hips off the mat and move towards my opponent to help me put the boot on for this defense. Lift my hips off the mat, drive into my opponent. Defense number four is removing the foot off of your hip. So, defense number one is flexing our toes towards our face. Defense number two is locking our knee out, flexing our large quads. Defense number three is lifting our hips up and moving towards our opponent, and four is removing the foot. Now, let's reverse engineer this position. His defense number one is flexing the toes. So I need my rear delt and my lat to cover and bend his toes and make him have a ballerina foot. I'm bending his toes here. Number two, he's locking his knee out, flexing his large quads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook inside of his knee and I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend my leg, bending his knee. Number three, he's gonna try to move towards me. I'm gonna stomp on his stomach and ribs. And number four, before he can even get to number four, I'm gonna go belly down. But if he does number four, I'm gonna go belly down. Number one, I bend his toes into ballerina toes to make him play a different sport. Number two, I bend his leg by kicking with my shin, making him not use his large quads. Number three, I stomp on his stomach so he can't come towards me. Four, he pushes my foot off and I preemptively go belly down for the finish. And again, these were the four steps to countering the straight ankle lock and then how I counter their counter. Till next time, guys, let's get it.